This is the roll off roof of the Visitors Observatory in Sutherland, busy opening. This video will show how we cleaned the optics on these telescopes. They work quite hard being used every second night and therefore can get quite dirty. Okay, so as you can see there are two telescopes in here, a 16 inch Mead and a 14 inch Celestron. Now I've already cleaned the Celestron and it has come out pretty well. So the Mead, as you can see, looks pretty bad and this is what we're going to attempt to clean now. So the cleaning involves cleaning the Smith plate, the corrector plate, but also the primary mirror. So the whole procedure will cover the removal of the Schmidt plate as well as cleaning both the corrector and the primary mirror. You would need some deionized distilled water, nitrile gloves, cotton wool, pure cotton wool, make sure it's pure and it's clean. If it gets contaminated, throw it away. You only use it once, I'll show you later. Containers to put the water in and then we use a soap solution, sodium laurel sulfate. Uh, you can use normal kitchen detergent soap, that's fine. Um, some tape to mark the mirror and the position. This bulb here is very useful. And you'll show that, show that in action soon. And um, <clears throat> also just a clean rag. And then some hand tools. And then right at the end some collimation tools. And chest sire and a homemade auto collimator. Fender washer in there. Two and a half millimeter hole. Uh, I normally start by cleaning the outside first, just so that if you accidentally touch the corrector while taking it out, you don't put scratches on that surface. Start it by blowing off all the loose dust, then using this distilled water and cotton wool. Start it dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Never wipe, just dab because you do not want the dirt to scratch the mirror. But once you wetted the optic, you will then go over to the soap. Again, dab, dab, dab. Only when all the loose dirt is off, you can then start dragging your cotton wool. Just under its own weight. So after you've done the soap, you go back to the water, the ionized water or distilled water, started getting rid of the soap and then finally drying it just with cotton wool. Do not worry about the fluff, you can blow it off afterwards. Okay, so now we're going to remove the optic. We've marked it now. We're first just going to remove this ring and take very good note of the position of everything in there. Okay, so this comes out as a sandwich and we'll keep it together. So we will clean all of this as well, trying to very carefully brush out most of this stuff. So we'll just put two of these so to mark the position of the optic. So now what we do is we just cut through it. Now remove this meat plate very carefully. Just tipping it forward first. Quite loose, but easy to come out. Okay, so there you have a smith plate and you have the secondary mirror, which I'm not going to clean because it looks pretty good. And then I mark the edge to make sure it does not rotate. You may just see how bad the mirror actually is. The telescope is way out of balance at the moment. So just to help with that, I'm going to remove the eyepiece and focuser. When you release the crack now, hold the telescope with your one hand. Get a damp cloth. Go very carefully on the baffle. Don't go onto the mirror. Okay, you will also do this outside with a smith plate set, just wiping the inside with a damp cloth. Do not go onto the mirror itself. So we start out with this bulb again, and then we start with our water again. Starting at the top, just dab, 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 don't drag it. Basically wet the mirror. Do not turn this over. Once it's finished, throw it away. Do not let the mirror dry out. Once you start, just keep it wet. So we'll use the same soap as before and again just dab, dab, dab and make sure it does not dry out. Okay, so we don't have dirt anymore, so now we can start dragging it. Still the soap solution, but now we very just under the weight of the cotton wool, start dragging it. Do not turn the cotton wool over, just use the one side. Could be dirt on your gloves that you transfer then to the mirror. So this is distilled water now, deionized. And we start mopping up the soap. Don't push too hard. It's very lightly. So we can start drying. Okay. It's not bad actually. Well, that's pretty good. So we 
just get this bulb blow away in here on the fluff. Okay. This is the side that we half cleaned. And the other side is oh, quite dirty. Second tree does not look too bad, so I'm not going to touch it. And procedure. Now we can use a bit more water because there isn't anything that can get wet. I'll go over to the soap immediately. What is of course nice is you can turn the whole thing. Okay, so once it's wet, so no dirt coming off. So you can now just take the cotton wool and drag it under its own weight. And I say the soap is a very mild solution of sodium lauryl sulfate. And you can use ordinary dishwashing soaps, just one or two drops. Again, do not turn over the cotton wool and try and use the other side, just throw it away. And before it dries out, we give it some water. We don't want any soap residue. Not right, very gently. Don't worry about that fluff, that will get it off later. Okay, let's dry it. Just be a cotton wool. I parked it upside down to keep it out of the dust. Not the right environment to do something like this really. But putting back is certain, simply a reverse of putting it back in again. Make sure your tape lines up. The ring has been cleaned out. All nice and clean now. Do not over tighten. Whenever there is an optic involved. Okay, that looks much better. Make sure the mirror cover is clean. Okay. Do, do the collimation. The eyepiece. Chest side is a bit more forgiving. Not sure if this phone will do it. Okay, that's it. Back to current.